This video is brought to you in part by True Tech Tools, quality tools, essential support. All right, guys, so we are working on a pizza prep table. Haven't done any of these for a while, so we're going to go ahead and do this one here. It's a little refresher course. I'm sure it's something kind of stupid. Generally, it is. Let's see what we got here. I just got started a minute ago. So this one here we've done a lot of work on. It's been resurrected 55 times from the dead. Coils packed it. Uh, it's cleaned pretty good. Um, asked them what was going on with it, and they said that uh, it wasn't cooling, which is not the greatest description in the world. Usually we have uh, stuff on this to protect the uh, coil from getting dirty like this. Let's we'll go ahead and do a quick cleaning here and see what we've got. Uh, these have had multiple leaks on the evaporators. Uh, TXV's bad, solenoid's bad, motor's bad. I did add a sight glass to one of these because it has a receiver. And of course, they uh, never ended up, this may not be the one. Looks like somebody, somebody hodgepodgery to this one. Some uh, teas and stuff here. It's been a while. I don't usually do these as much as I used to long ago. So, yep. All right, well, let's plug it in and see what happens. I plugged it in just a little bit ago, nothing happened. So right now, nothing's still happening. I'm not hearing anything clicking. It says we got power there. There we go, there we go. Took a while. Okay, we have 122 volts. And nothing is happening. So we do have power. Had some little problems, which I didn't remember. A lot of the stuff here doesn't get any more attention than what it needs. So let's see if the evaporators are running. So your evaporators usually run non-stop on a cooler, and they're not running at all, which is kind of odd. So yeah, let's go back to power source. Okay, get that power coming out here. Comes into that box right back here. There's an off button right there, whatever that does. Oh, that turned it off. I don't know. I wonder who did that. Okay, you got start relays here. I don't, I've never seen anybody ever turn that off before. Ever. Never turned that off before. That's odd. I didn't even know the switch was there. So, yeah. I can see the rail is starting to get cold already. Looks like it anyway. Maybe not. Okay. Sucks it up from the bottom. This is a Randall case. Close it out to the top. It's starting to get cooler. I don't know. This does have ports on it. For suction. And discharge. It's in a negative window, we've got an issue. No, it's not, it's a negative. We're actually 30 pounds. Awesome thing about JV gauges. Check that out. So yeah, we're running about a 35 degree evaporator right now with it being warm like it is. Um, not sure what's going on with it. Discharge line's hot. Liquid line is warm. I'm thinking we may have somebody reach in there. It says main on off switch back of box. I don't know. First you know. If anyone's here like the manager that would have actually found this problem. Okay, it's getting cold. I don't know. I just asked the uh, 
and it's in charge. But uh, if they said it completely went down, just part of it, because you know, if it's one section went down, it would probably be um, an issue with uh, the solenoid, maybe say for the bottom or top rack, but the other half would work. But that don't make no sense. If the whole thing went down, then did they kill it by accident? Did somebody get in there and do something they should have done? I, mean, I hate jumping to conclusions, but it's kind of where we got to go next. So I guess we're going to watch it for a little bit and see what happens. Okay, let's do a little piper cleaning here. Let's go ahead and shut it off. There we go. Let that set for a bit. I hate just walking away from it and thinking, oh yeah, we got it, and then, you know, they call back. I like going up and down with the coil. I mean, I think it gets it in deeper than going left and right. You know, we can blast it out with some water, put a pan underneath of it, catch it. I mean, the most important thing is Keeping this coil clean, cleaner it is, the more cooler it will run, cooler it runs, cooler the inside coil runs, and the better operation it will get, more efficient. Kind of work it into the coil a little bit. See if you can loosen it up. Helps get some of the crap off your brush too. See a little something on the brush getting cleaned up. I was able to see some light through it, so we can uh, we'll hit it with some water here and rinse it out and kick her back on. And it's not far from the shop, so if we have to, we can always come back. That way, we ain't sitting here wasting a bunch of money and time on it. I'm starting to make more and more room on these shelves because parts are optional nowadays. So kind of get some of the old stuff out of the way that half time don't need. The old Porta Blaster, I've given this thing way more recognition than uh, I think anybody else has just because it's done such a great job and I loved talking about it. Of course, the price went up because it got more popular, so go figure. I've not had a problem with this thing working with hot water yet. We'll get this thing there and we'll just press that out a little bit. We'll call our guy. There we go. What's up, man? No hat today? It's out there. Ah. What's been going on? Same shit, different day. Just going store to store. Putting fires out, putting yeah. band aids on, oh, yeah. putting new tape on it. <laughs> This is how I like to prime it. There we go. That way, you don't have to run it dry forever. I mean, this thing's so convenient. It's the biggest reason why I like it. And then, like I said, I made a, a modification. Just a 45% silver solder and just soldered a copper to metal or stainless, whatever you want to call it. I've got a dedicated pan, but we'll just use this one. That really loosened it up quite a bit. Holy cow. Look at that. Did pretty good. I mean, obviously, it's not going to push it out of it, so... There we go. We're prepped up. It's not going to ride out, buddy. Hmm. We got a good portion of it. It's a lot better than what it was. Oh yeah. There you go. You see that right through there. Pretty darn good. That's gonna lower that head pressure quite a bit. 
There's a couple spots here. It looks like it could use some more work. A little more better than what it was. Okay. Well, let's get her back on, see what happens here. mop and clean things up here. That's breathing a lot better. Suction's still up there at 30-ish. Liquid line's still moderately warm, not crazy hot. And that made a pretty big difference there. We can kind of see the light kind of pretty good. filter media on there. Uh, does a pretty good job keeping a lot of the gunk out of it. So, I don't know. Everything appears to be working. I think we're going to wrap this thing up. True Tech Tools has got these available. So if you guys are interested in them, you can post a link down below. It's convenient. I think with discount and stuff, I think it goes under 200. They used to be like 140. But like I said, as they got popular, they, uh, we sold quite a few of them. It looks like it's working good to me. All right, guys, that's going to wrap that one up. Let's get on to the next call, see what else we can get. So. Like I said, things ain't been going all that exciting lately, and so there's something for the one of the videos. Main thing is, uh, look it over really good, make sure there ain't nothing more that you need to be doing, clean condenser coils, whatever. Kind of stinks sometimes, but just that extra amount of uh, care could really make the system run a lot better. Uh, make sure your plugs and stuff are in good shape, which, you know, they were pretty good for what, you know, we have. And uh, move on to the next one. And then uh, duly note everything on your paperwork, what you found, what you seen, what was happening, that you talk to everybody and if there's a problem you got to go back it's not really a call back it's just a continuance of the work because you only had so much information to work with all right on to the next one